Technology has really enhanced the education of the children at Mariah. Almost everything that they do has some technology component to it. What that allows the children to do is to really delve deeper into subjects and areas that they're interested in more than they were ever able to do before. It's exciting for them. It's something new and it's the way that they learn. It's the way that their brains are wired to think. Whenever I say we're taking out the laptops, you see this excitement in the classroom and the children are eager to do anything that's technology related. And for me, as an older teacher, technology has been somewhat of a challenge, but it has really kicked up my teaching a whole different level. I find there's so many more things available to me as a teacher, and because we have some of our more talented, younger, technologically advanced teachers, we're able to use them as a source to help make us better and to keep us on task and up to current level. The collaboration that we have in Mariah is fantastic. The teachers work on grade level with both Robin and myself to come up with programs and software that inculcates into their curriculum in a way that's seamless. The teachers play an integral role into what technology is used and how it's used in their classroom. Much of the technology that we use has the ability for the teacher to see reports on what the children are actually doing while they're online. And the data that's collected from those reports then drives the instruction. It also scaffolds according to the child's abilities. So the program that they're working on meets the child where they're at and naturally helps bring them upwards into the place where they need to be. Technology is more of a tool than it is a drive. And so I believe that we have to have that emphasis here at school too. When I came to Mariah, there were two computer labs and teachers came down to have the children learn computer skills. And um, I wanted to change that up mostly because these kids were raised with computers, they're digital natives, and I didn't want them to spend a lot of time doing things that they kind of already knew how to do, or they're much more intuitive about doing than we are. So I felt that it would be a good idea to emphasize how to make use of the skill that we were teaching them. As we moved through the years, what started to influence me was how children choose lots of different technology to accomplish different tasks. For example, a kid might pull out their phone because they want to send a text or take a picture of something that's interesting and shoot it off to grandma. But they're not going to do that if they want to make a video. They're going to use a laptop in most cases or a desktop if they're really going high end. So the kids know the difference between the different type of technology they need to use. So we need to be able to provide it. And that's been my new drive. So here we have a ubiquitous situation for technology it's everywhere in the school and anywhere because it is everywhere in their life and for me I feel we need to emulate that and we need to teach them to be responsible digital citizens so they not just know how to use it but know how to use it properly I don't want you to think that we just use technology we purchased several series of books several homework components that can be added to this so we are using technological and conventional materials we know the advantages of it it's easy to see I'm very fortunate to have funding available, first of all, from parents' tuition. MAP has been very generous to the technology department. We also get some money from the state. But the most important funding that's happened recently to Mariah is that we've been awarded one of five schools in the country to be part of the Bold Day Schools program, funded through Avikai, the AJE, and Kohelet Foundations. The Bold program is a three-year initiative We've won about a million dollars to invest and we've matched that ourselves to try and build a new approach to education, what we call multimodal education or M-cubed. All of the software and the programs that we use here are all research-based programs. Many parents are thrilled with what they see their children doing in school and even more so they're able to follow their children's progress at home and it's impressive to them to see the growth that their child is having from using such programs. In addition to that, our LMS Haiku that we use is an incredible communication tool that the parents really find useful and as a resource because they're able to see the teacher's calendar, when assignments are due, and they're able to really help their children use their time wisely and plan appropriately to get their work done. And working as a team, parent, child, and teacher, we're really able to help each child meet success.